Hello, everyone. I am Resplend, and welcome back to Minecraft Chocolate Edition, a mod pack that is anything but vanilla. Uh, we are here with another episode. Last time we went exploring a bit. We were trying to uh, get some materials so we could uh, get an eye of Ender, and that did not go well. Um, we need three eyes in order to get to the nether, um, in this pack. Um, so basically, we need three of these. One of them being, of course, an Eye of Ender. However, it is difficult to get an Eye of Ender when you cannot go to the nether. Um, that is something we are coming to realize very quickly. Now, let's see what all of these eyes are. Just the Lost Eye, Corrupted Eye, Black Eye, Clockwork Eye, Exotic Eye, Guardian Eye, and Rogue Eye. Okay. So... All right. What we're going to do is we're going to basically get comfortable. Um, I spoke a bit about my plans to, uh, you know, change up the living arrangement here. And... I am rather content with the house. So I am thinking we will stay here. Uh, you know, after having thought about it more. But we are going to change some stuff up. So that's, I think, what we're going to get started on today. Um, it's going to be our renovations. Uh, let's see. Yeah, first of all, we are going to need more wood. So, let's get to wood chopping. That tree was difficult to chop. How difficult is this one going to be? Goodness. All right. There should be enough wood for now. So the key element of this is we are going to remove Oh, hello. The creeper is actually helping us. Wow. Yeah, let's uh, sleep first. <laughs> and then I'll give the rundown. So, the plan... This creeper already got things rolling. We're going to basically clear out this area around the house, the immediate vicinity, um, so that we can basically start getting stuff rolling. Uh, so we can expand, expand the house, so we can, you know, build stuff that we need for various purposes, all that jazz. So, we 
we are going to start working on that. First thing to go, of course, will be this house right in front of us. Like, if we're going to clear the way for the house, we need... yeah. I hear... I hear a witch. Where's the witch? There is a witch right under here. Oh, hello. We have still not gotten the item we want from the witches. Wow. Might just be one of those things that we're not going to find for a long time. <laughs> we might be stuck in the overworld for a while. Uh...
I think we're almost done here. Yeah. <clears throat> cool. Yeah, I really wanted to get that little area cleared out. Um, while we're at it, we're also going to uh, flatten the terrain. Um, so, yeah, we're going to get that done really quick. All right, let's make a shovel. I think this is a solid outline for what we're doing. We'll see in a moment. Uh, I just want to flatten out the space in front of the house, you know, get the other house cleared out, out of the way, and all that jazz. Also, I have noticed that the stacks can be really large in this, and I'm curious what the maximum stack size is, because we have a stack of 138 blocks of dirt. Also going to remove this little path. Yeah. I just want this to all be dirt. Or grass, technically, but you know what I mean. Alright. Then we'll cover this up. Blood Moon Rises. The Blood Moon. That's concerning. Let's, uh, head inside. Put all of that crap away. Oh, 
Oh dear. So is that the Blood Moon? Because if so, it's, uh... It's here. I'm curious what changes during a Blood Moon. Do we just have increased monster spawns, or...? It's certainly, um, interesting looking. Huh. Huh. Hoo-hoo, that's a lot of zombies. Oh, spider jockey. No! <laughs> Yeah, I should have seen that coming. Uh, we have a lot of company out here. Well then, let's see if we can get the skeleton to shoot the creeper. Crap. Never mind. Bring it on. I wonder why there's a Vex here. Is that a part of the Blood Moon, or is that just, like, randomly here? <laughs> I think we're going to need to build some fortifications for this place. Speaking of fortifications, there's a very injured Iron Golem down there. Yeah. Definitely something we're going to have to look into. Like, we can't have all these monsters showing up every night. It's a bit of a disaster. Necromancer! Holy crap! What is this? Mutant! Zombie! <laughs> uh, mutant zombies apparently come out during the Blood Moon. Uh, that's good to know. Let's get 
another sword. All right. Yo, let's take on the mutant zombie. Oh. That was unfortunate. The frickin' Incredible Hulk. Whoa! <laughs> See, I don't remember much about the mutant, uh... The mutant creatures mod from back in the day. I didn't even know it was updated, in all honesty. Um, holy crap. Well, this is a blood moon, uh, if you're ever curious. <laughs> if you're ever playing this mod pack, and you see that there's a blood moon, uh, this is what happens during a blood moon. Uh probably for the best that you uh, do not go outside <laughs> there are so many spiderlings oh crap now I'm in a hole Holy crap, this is absolute chaos. Everyone's in here. Oh crap, it's these guys. <laughs> Alright. Well, I have never been so happy to see the sunrise. That was a blood moon, and that was another episode. Um, we have that area in front of the house, you can see it right there behind me, uh, cleared out. And we got to fight a lot of monsters and get, you know, some supplies from them. Uh, so yeah, I would say that was productive. If you all enjoyed this video, please do leave a like and comment, and also subscribe, it helps the channel. With that all said, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. Farewell, and have a nice day.